Photo Leap is a fantastic AI tool you can use to create auto-generated facades for your projection mapping show. Let's do a quick review of how you can use it. Download and install Photo Leap from your preferred app store. In this example, I am using the Android version. Select the Edit Photo icon. Here you can see an imported map file that was created using the Digital Press Works mapping tool. This is what the facade will be based off of. Select AI Filters, and then scroll over to the right until you find the Scenes icon. You can see here that once opened, it automatically generated an image based on the first available scene. If you're not crazy about the look, you can try alternatives by selecting any of the numbered buttons. If neither of those is any better, you can generate a new facade by selecting the scene a second time. You can try out any of the available looks using the menu at the bottom. Any scene that has a crown icon over it will require a paid subscription for the year in order to access. There is a 7-day free trial after which you will need to pay for a plan if you want to use any of the premium features. The free version will also include a watermark. This may or may not be an issue for you depending on a number of factors. After sampling some of the presets, you might want to try out the custom filter. Select Custom. Then when prompted, describe the type of scene you want. When you are happy with the facade, select the check mark in the top right corner. Choose Save to Export. If you've paid to use the software, you can disable the watermark, and you also have the option to save as a .png file. Note that the image which gets saved may not match the resolution of your original map file. This means you may have to resize it. Import the photo leap image into your preferred software. Here, I am using DaVinci Resolve, but use whichever software you are most comfortable with. Layer the photo leap image on top of your map file and then reduce its opacity so that you can see both the facade and your map. Resize the image if needed so that it lines up appropriately with your original map. Once you feel everything is lined up correctly, increase the opacity to full. Now you are free to modify with any color changes or add in any effects that you desire. Generally I've not enjoyed the experience of using AI tools, but this one has been so easy and effortless that I highly recommend you check it out once you get the chance. In future tutorials we may do some more with this in DaVinci Resolve. In the meantime, I hope you give this a try and have some fun with it. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks on digital decorating in the future.